Hey, I'm Phil Tremonti, inventor of the Casticam. Welcome to my YouTube channel, and thank you for purchasing the Casticam. On today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to mount your GoPro to the Casticam to get great video. Number one, when you get the Casticam, you should have the body and two pieces of foam that come with it. The first step to do is when you is to mount the GoPro mount to the Casticam. And before you do that, and this step is very critical, is make sure you use isopropyl alcohol with a cotton swab, paper towel, whatever it is, and make sure you wipe off the surface of the Casticam because there's residue from the production on it that won't make that won't allow the GoPro mount to stick. So in mounting your GoPro mount to the Casticam for Heroes 5, 6, and 7 blacks, you're going to mount the GoPro mount directly centered on the Casticam and make sure you align the GoPro mount with the Casticam. Later on, if you if you're noticing that your video is maybe a little shaky or the cast cam is is tilted one way, you can always tip, pop this off and move this left or right on the tongue of the cast cam. For GoPro Hero Eights, the, the GoPro Hero Eights a little lighter, a little bit different design. This Go the, the GoPro Hero Eight Blacks must be mounted to the far side of the tongue, opposite the the hook attachment on the cast cam. This allows the Hero 8 to go through the water smoothly and in a horizontal position. And you can always, again, if you mount this, you can always, to, to, for a little bit of adjustment, you can always mount it over the tongue by a little bit if you're still having a little bit of shake or a little bit of uh, tilted on the cast again. After you, after you mount the GoPro mount on here, you'll have your cast cam. Next thing to do, of course, is to mount your GoPro onto it. And for a little extra safety feature, so that your GoPro cannot come unattached from the Casticam, is you get yourself a six inch, 20 pound steel eater. Cut the, the barrel swivel off, so you end up with just a loop, and of course the snap on it. Take it, thread it through, around, above the, the, the GoPro, through your loop, Pull that first one tight, go around the GoPro again, bring it up, and hook it on to the, the hook of the Casticam. Next, for fresh water and salt water, you're going to be using the 2-inch or the smaller foam that comes with the Casticam. The Casticam, um, the, the reason why we have a couple different foams is that 2-inch foam is minimum foam length to, for the Casticam to float. The Casticam will float, so you insert the two inch foam, the notch is to go around the cast, the GoPro mount. You're gonna be sticking it in like that. That should be how the finished product looks. So when the, the two inch foam will give you clear, steady video at roughly about two to, two to six feet, depending on how fast you reel the Casticam back in. The Casticam is designed like a lure, it will, the, the faster you reel, the deeper it will dive. Now, I, the second piece is for if you're in very strong current of a river or you're in a strong current in the tides in, in the ocean, you might want a little bit more foam and you could cut this to adjust to any length. I would suggest starting off with the three inches depending on the, the strength of the current. And what that will do with the Casticam, of course, will make it float. With, without extra flotation, the Casticam just gonna want it in a strong current will want to just go to the bottom. So then, Afterwards, you just take it, of course, make sure you have a, a, a good quality snap swivel on your, on your fishing pole. Hook up that. I use a 20 pound monofilament with just a six foot heavy action rod. And you should be, with this, you should be all set up and ready to get out there and get some excellent video. And if you do, please share it on my YouTube video. I'm on Instagram, Facebook, and I'd love to see you there. Thank you.